close your eyes, bring your mind to the body right here, try to bring them into alignment. The body is like a house. The mind is like its owner. If the owner doesn't stay in the house, the house doesn't get taken care of, and the owner is left out to be exposed to the sun and the rain. So for the good of both, try to bring them together and keep them together. Now, as you go through the day, whatever movements you make, try to be with that movement. As John Lee said, most of us, as we're walking, we take two or three steps, but the mind has already taken seven or eight. Try to keep in line with where you are. That way you get to see what's going on in the mind. If you go running out with your thoughts, you're in the thought. You can't see it from the outside. And you want to understand your thinking, understand your greed, aversion, and delusion. You have to be outside them. You have to step back from them. This is why the Buddha says when you're going through the day, try to keep the mind with the body as a post. And keep all of your senses on a leash tie to the post. If you have to think about something, okay, give yourself time to think, but then come right back. Because a lot of the mind's random thoughts are the ones that you want to see, but also to separate yourself from. Because that's where greed and aversion and delusion get their beginning. <laughs> the little thoughts that you spin out as you go through the day without really noticing what you're doing. You can be walking along and suddenly a phrase comes into the mind. You say, where did that come from? It seems to be totally unrelated to anything. And yet the mind can often take those unrelated random bits and turn them into something that can do a lot of harm if you're not careful. So try to be right here so you can see your thoughts as they go out, but you don't go with them. They can go only so far then. Otherwise, it's like using your flashlight to chase down the end of a flashlight beam. You see that it extends out, so you try to go closer, and of course that makes the beam go farther and farther and farther away. But if you stay right here, it can go only so far, and then it stops. At the same time, this is good for the body. You're going to be right here. Anything builds up the body, any tension, any tightness, you can relax it before it turns into anything bad. That way the owner of the house benefits, the house is a good place to stay. It gets taken care of. So keeping the mind aligned with the body is good for both. <laughs>